because... No, wait, how did you all get it signed? We shipped it to each other, posted it to each other. Really? Yeah. Um, and there's also a video. Hang on. Hello, what's up guys? This is a new Motus video. Welcome. As you can tell, my tooth is fucked up at the moment. Got a nice smile going. Chipped my tooth and it's gonna be a while till the dentist opens again, so that's fun. So Joseph Marx has come up with the idea of getting Giles a special gift for all that he's done for us over the past few years and especially for Soul Destroyer. And me and the boys have come up with the idea to get him a Soul Destroyer poster. So we're gonna get this poster and we're gonna send it between us boys in the UK and then we're finally gonna send it to Keelan and he's gonna take it to Giles and surprise him and record it on video and hopefully we're gonna make him cry. So today I'm gonna go to the Photoshop with this image and try and get it printed so I can sign it and send it to the rest of the boys. Okay, I've just been to the camera shop. It's right there and I've given them the file and they're gonna print out the poster and I'm gonna come back and pick it up in a couple days. So I'll see you then. Another dawn, another day. The print is now ready to pick up. So I'm on my way to the photo store now and we're gonna see how it's turned out. Okay, so I just collected the poster from the print shop. It's come out real nice, really good quality. Lovely like gloss finish. So, so I've got the poster back home now. I'm gonna sign it. When I first met you, Giles, you were filming projects like Off The Edge Tour in America and hanging around with all these crazy athletes that I looked up to. And when you came up to us and proposed the idea for us to be on a team where we filmed our own projects and we made our own clothes, it was like a dream come true. Ever since then, we've worked on projects like Spitting in the Wind, we've been to Malta doing drone parkour, and we've just completed our biggest project to date, Soul Destroyer. Making these projects happen, flying across the world, we've made countless memories and we've met friends that I'm gonna have for life now. Being a part of Motus has given me opportunities to fly all the way to New Zealand to teach workshops out there and to fly out to Mexico City where I judge the competition. And without being on Motus, I would have never experienced any of these things at all. So because of all that Giles, I want to thank you personally and from all the other athletes as well. We hope you like the poster that we've printed for you and we hope you can find some space on your wall so you can appreciate it as part of your memorabilia collection for life. Okay, so I found it. It's in the roll. I'm gonna grab the Sharpie now and head to Max. I'm wearing this Soul Destroyer tee. If you want to support Giles, go and buy some of this clothing. It's not even... Welcome to the O2 Max. <laughs> Hello, Giles. All right, buddy. Here you go. Ah! Really... It's safe. I'll see you in two hours. Yeah, and take the GoPro. Oh my, oh, what's up dudes? <laughs> um, and also Warzone has an update. Hello Giles, hope you're doing well. Thank you for everything that you've done for me and the boys. Some of the adventures that I've had and the memories that I've created have been the best of my life. Spitting in the wind when I was 16 was still to this day the most amazing adventure I've ever been on and it couldn't have happened without you and your support and your time and your money so once again thank you for everything for everything i couldn't name it all spitting the wind incredible all the america tours incredible malta you know just being with different athletes traveling around experiencing things well done thank you so much bye Okay, don't mess this up, Max. Don't mess this up. Cool. Pass on to the next person. Thank you. 
You're welcome. <laughs> Bam. Okay, just got to Bournemouth. Got the roll. Let's go. See if I can do this descent. I don't know how to do this. Nice. So we're here now with the boys. Hello, mate. I've handed over the, the secret bag. the secret weapon. Got the goods in there. <laughs> Would you like pearly pearly chicken uh, walkers? Love you. Uh, yeah. Where are you from, mate? Where are you from? What's, Where are you your, from? Name? What's your name? Okay, I've safely got the poster home. I think it's time to sign it. I'm a bit worried. I don't want to damage it. But here we go. So about five years ago, Giles put me on Motors as a sponsored athlete. I'm really glad that we're doing something like this to say thank you because Giles has done so much for us as athletes. He's supported us so much. Um, and for me personally, some of the things that I've, I've had the chance to do have been dreams come true. And uh, for that, Giles, Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. What's happened to my Sharpie? I think I've done it. I've had to go over it a bit because my pen's running out of ink. Yeah, but now I'm going to roll this up and send it to Johnston. All was still in the north of Scotland. A quarantine still undisturbed. The melodic chirping of the birds filled the mountains and valleys with a sense of impending warmth and love. Draped in tarzan blanket, Johnston woke from what seemed to be the perfect night's sleep. Though something seemed strange, different this morning, for he woke to an unusually large package, bigger than he'd ever seen. He took one look and immediately knew it was for Giles. Now oh, he couldn't wait to open it. He jumped to his feet and ran to his desk, eager to see what was inside. Ooh, that's lovely. Giles, you are the fucking boss. And you are my everything. Back again, sorry, um, my camera died and I got very angry. In true Johnston fashion, Giles, um, I literally couldn't be bothered to charge my batteries and my camera died in the middle of the line. I genuinely don't even know where to begin with respect to how much you've done, not only for us, but for the community as a whole. And I think that everybody is aware and feels your presence and even if if they don't, they have been affected by the fact that you've been involved in the sport and I think that that is such a special thing and not many people can can say uh, that they've had such a big impact on the sport as a whole and I think that you deserve endless respect for, for what you've done for the, for the sport and, for, and specifically for us as part of your little gang, I suppose. But I genuinely am grateful every day to be part of what this is and to be part of Soul Destroyer and be part of the projects and all the things we've done together. It's just been memories upon memories of just joy and happiness. And as you said, in Spitting in the Wind, you are the enabler and you've enabled eight different, not only eight different athletes, but specifically eight different people um, across the, the UK to make this their life or like a big part of their life. It's a massive part of my life and and I don't think that it would be if it wasn't for you. Um, you love you love your memorabilia. I know you do. So I hope that this um, can be something to go on your wall. Um, it's a little thank you from all of us. It was a great idea by Marks and Luke who are the main organizers of this. I mean it doesn't it doesn't it it, it, it doesn't go a, a particularly long way in, in repaying you for all the you know things that we owe you for in terms of like hotel rooms and whatnot but it's a gesture of our appreciation for you and I genuinely want to say thank you. I suppose I just find somewhere to sign it. You won't believe this but my camera cut out. That's, that's literally classic. So you never got to hear any of my funny jokes when I was writing my name. Um, 
I actually wrote it kind of nicely. Hold on, I'll show you now. Look at that. Look at that. What a beautiful signature. Enough. I'm going to pack this thing up and send it off to Robbie. I hope you enjoy Soul Destroyer because this will have been out by the time that that happens. Uh, if you haven't bought it, go and buy it because please, please, we put so much effort into this. Like, genuinely. If you're going to buy one thing from Motus, make it, make it Soul Destroyer. Please, please. Uh, it will not disappoint. So, there we go. Ready to go to Robbie. My mum is the postie today. So, thank you. <laughs> so, ever since Shell's added me to Motus like a couple of years back, he's gave me and all the guys an amazing platform and so many opportunities I can't even begin to count. From travelling all across the world to like loads of bucket list destination places that places you can kind of dream of going, never mind going a couple of times in your lifetime. But even getting to go to these places and compete and take part in events and competitions alongside people that you grew up watching and kind of idolising on parkour through YouTube, who kind of inspires me to like really take the sport seriously. And it definitely just feels so surreal sometimes getting to go to all these amazing places and I definitely don't think a lot of it would have happened without Giles pushing the sport and the team to do the best that they can do and kind of connecting those dots and for that I just want to say a massive thank you and I really hope you like this video. Okay, so I've just sent the poster off to Keon over in Kent and this video message to say a massive thank you to Giles. Giles has literally made my dreams come true from when I was a kid and I started training. He's put me in the positions and brought me to events that I could have only dreamed of as a kid and I will forever be thankful. I actually can't explain in words how much of a difference and how much he has genuinely changed my life. So for me and everyone else, thank you Giles and thank you for all the commitment and hard work that you just did on Soldier Tour and just in general. Thank you so much Giles, we love you. Right, so We've got Giles a little present just to say thank you for everything he's done for us but we got him the Soul Destroyer teaser poster but signed by all of the athletes. Unfortunately that couldn't involve me because it was going to cost 80 quid just to get it sent out to Norway and then most likely the same amount of money to get it sent back. Basically when I get back to England Giles, I promise you now when I get back to England hopefully soon I'll be signing it with the rest of the boys so I can join in and contribute and say thank you. Uh, but yeah, that is the reason we're doing this. It does not account up to everything Giles has done for us, but we just wanted to give this little thing back to say thank you so, so much for everything he's done for all of us boys. He's gave me and all of us so, so, so many opportunities, such as going to Woodward, being able to work on projects such as Soul Destroyer and clothing collections, and like me growing up as a kid and starting parkour, like watching all these videos and being like, oh, I wish I could be there, I wish I could be there. I never thought I'd actually be in an opportunity now where I can actually do that and that's all down to Giles, it's not down to anything else. He put me on the team and he's got all the contacts and gave me the opportunities to get me in this position. I wouldn't have been able to be part of Soul Destroyer which everybody has loved and it's blew up so much so thank you so much to everybody who has supported us and watched the film and yeah. It's just, it's crazy and we're going to keep pushing and trying to do more, more, more projects like this. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for this opportunity, Giles. I think you've probably guessed by now. I don't know what order this video is in, um, but it's just a massive, massive thank you to you. As cliche as it sounds, I would not be the person that I am today if I had never met you and if we'd never become friends. I probably see you more than any of my other friends and I love it. I love spending time around your house, I love seeing Darwin, uh, I love hanging out with Sarah as well, like every... I love you man! It's kind of mind blowing like going from back then to now and what we've achieved. I'm very 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 grateful for every, every bit of advice you've been giving me with like just any sort of life scenario, like I feel like you are, your brain works very, very, very well and I've learned so much from you. 
and if we were doing bullet points or if we had notes, which I don't, one of my like best memories ever through Motus, the America tour, obviously that was the best thing I've ever done, ever. Like I, I still haven't, I still can't get to grips with that. That's what we actually did. As a kid watching Woodward videos, I could not believe that I'd ever get the chance to visit Woodward. So thank you for that as well. The next, the second best thing was when we edited it together because it was just me and you, we're going hard on the edits every day, going up to the shop, getting beer, <laughs> getting food, snacks, coming back and like pigging out and watching movies and documentaries. Like, definitely, you're definitely one of my best friends. Like, it's, it's crazy. It's making me feel weird. Stop it. I think we need to go full steam ahead with Motus because we have something special here, all of us together. And you need more appreciation for that. Uh... Oh my God, I haven't done my signature in ages. But yeah, so now I'm gonna drive to his house, give him the poster, which I'm very nervous about, and then show him the video. What I didn't mention is that I had to cut the edges of the poster off so it would fit in the frame because it was ever so slightly bigger than A3 so <laughs> it was so scary it's literally I it was it was all up to me I didn't break it it's, it's fine anyway all right we'll see what Giles how Giles okay. reacts shut up poster Giles's house I've got something for you. Here's a little present from from us. Oh, amazing! <laughs> is that the po is that is this one of our posts? No, <laughs> like Luke got it printed because. No, wait, how did you all get it signed? We shipped it to each other, posted it to each other. Really? Yeah. Um, and there's also a video. Hang on. Okay, so I just collected the poster from the print shop. It's come out real nice, really good quality. Oh my god. How long has this been going on this? Quite a while, there's, just, there's been yeah, a secret taken, group chat. It must have taken a while. Most of them have died. Oh! <laughs> still in the north of Scotland. Oh my god. Quarantine, straight in Tarzan blanket. Oh my god. From what seemed to be, though something seems strange, different this morning. <laughs> 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 of course his fucking camera dies. <laughs> Hello has the same package the entire way. It's getting more. Oh more. that's how people have opened it. <laughs> wow, I struggled to get into that. Funny. Oh? Yeah, does anyone want to buy this from eBay? <laughs> you know, we need Jordan to sign it yeah, and we're all good. I know. It actually feels like people like me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, now I can put that in that big gap where I was thinking what I can put there. Nice. Yeah. yeah, the video cut out kind of after the video stopped that we showed Giles. It was, it was good. He didn't cry. I knew he wouldn't. I know Marks wanted him to cry. That was one of the plans. But I know Giles too well. Uh, it was awkward for me because obviously it was quite a like, everyone opened up and was like, thank you Giles, we love you. Um, cheers Giles, and hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. That's it, there's nothing else to say, bye.